Vault dweller, we see your signal. Make your way due north towards the hill. You'll see a concrete bunker. We will be watching your approach carefully.
Oliver Fields, Captain, United States Army. Now that we've got the pleasantries out of the way, I have one question for you. Why the hell are you planning on stealing America's gold reserve? Uncle Sam not give you enough hugs and kisses while he was keeping you safe in that vault? Pfft. World ends, and suddenly every Tom, Dick, and Mary thinks they're in charge. What makes you so special, huh? You joined up with that Modus guy, huh? He contacted us when we started poking around here. Thompson, what did you say he reminded you of? I said he reminded me of the Galaxy News radio announcer, but, like, obviously evil, sir. Seems to me that a lot of people around here have access to that arsenal. It's a fact that I'm not overly fond of. I don't know what the responders or the fire breathers are, but hunting those scorched seems vitally important and dangerous. Since we're both defenders of the people, in a manner of speaking, maybe you'll level with me. Do you know what your vault's primary mission was? Not the Rebuilding America Bull, the real mission. That sounds in line with vault MO. I'm sure they didn't bother checking if that's Vault Dweller. Radcliffe, Thompson, Lucky? I mean, I give anyone who doesn't shoot it as bonus points, so... Checks out to me. Yeah? Holds up with everything we were able to recon. Page wasn't lying, at least. All right, looks like you passed the test. Now let's talk about this Vault 79 you're so keen on breaking into. Oh, we know all about them. Luckily, Page gave us enough info to ID the problem. Sergeant Ratcliffe, you want to take it from here? We're dealing with Robco's semi-autonomous and mobile weapon platform, only used for special government procurement. Extra thick ballistic shielding, plus reflective paneling, and internal temperature regulation. Even has built-in air freshness. But can your new buddy Radcliffe beat him? Of course he can. Just need a little help from the source. Seeing as we have a good feeling about you, I'd say we work together on this one. You and I are going to meet up at the Robco Research Center down near Watoga. See if we can find the equipment I need to bust through those turrets. And we better hope we do, because my only backup plan is politely asking the turrets not to shoot us. And that never goes well. because I'm criminally overdue for a promotion? Uh, the high points are that it's a facility full of people who were smart enough to know better, but somehow didn't. You know how sometimes their robots go nuclear when damaged? That's by design. That's on purpose. Think about that. Most were made for civilian use. In what world does that make sense? A fucked up one. It'll be fun. Forget the theme parks. There's nothing like scavenging a research center.
Come on, just make the best of it, people. We need to make another supply run. Lucky and I went last time. Hey, you're not dead. I owe Thompson a cold one. Remember, we're looking for military research projects. General rule, they keep the good stuff in the back.
job than the other one was. Smell that? Opportunity. And also, shorted out electronics.
Look at that. Just needs a brain. Uh, and clarification, I'm not volunteering. Couldn't work my magic with those pincers anyway. They've probably got some brains in storage somewhere. That seems like a very them thing to do. research team jarred their brains? Whoa, I wonder how that went over. Good news for us though, right? <laughs> Just need to get one of them up and running. Center, where we do things little children definitely don't need to know about. <laughs> Your guide. Dr. Song? You mean the award-winning researcher? The author of the Robotics of Then and Now? She's our tour guide? <laughs> That's right! And since you scouts are such trustworthy young citizens, I can show you all kinds of interesting things the public doesn't know about. <laughs> now, off we go. Meet me at the first tour stop and maybe try to learn something from us.
person in charge will be an artist. Speaking of no boot on the ground, it never hurts to look good too long. like a stovetop. You sure we're not sous chefs and some kind of weird zombie cooking show pilot? Normally, I'm all about randomly fiddling the dials, but considering this brain is a limited resource, we better find some instructions first. They were smart enough to write the settings down, at least. Shouldn't be too hard to figure out which number goes where. Trip to fail safe. Guess that wasn't the right setting. Try again.
Research team. <laughs> oh, you want me to make tools that will destroy the turrets? Really? Sure. Come on. We'll need to use the fabricators. Follow me! Oh. <laughs> you have no idea how many times we had to assemble and tear down the kill zone emplacement until Dr. D ends with that me.
Sergeant Radcliffe reports that you procured the tools we need. I'm impressed. Interesting choice of words. You've been making a good team for some time now, haven't you? Page, Dr. Hornwright, that hyperactive communist kid, and now us. You sure picked a strange team, but you've shown that you can follow through. I'm convinced you'll actually pull this damn thing off. We'll be packing up and heading over to Foundation. No sense coordinating from two places. Eager to get this done, so let us know when. Come on, just make the best of it, people. I believe I lost my Nuka Tapper saves. You really know that whole over-deliver mantra, don't you? Captain Fields and his soldiers say they're here to stay. We got the crew and the equipment. All that's left is to get to work. You let me know when you're ready, because once we start, it's gonna be real noisy. Captain Fields and his soldiers say they're here to stay. No, we're already here. You've built a team, and we're all just waiting on you to lead it. Just let me know when you're ready. here in Foundation. Nobody's special yet, though. 